Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another build video. Today we're kind of doing two things at once. Number one, we're finishing up Forgotten Hollow with that last empty lot. And number two, we're going to be building this house, but each room is inspired by a different Halloween movie. Now you may be thinking that this house is very small. That's because it is. I apparently don't watch a lot of Halloween movies. I wanted to do this video and then today when I actually started scrolling through like Pinterest list of Halloween movies and stuff, I realized that I have not seen that many of them so this is the house we have the exterior which will count as a room of course and then we have the bedroom is up here it's one bedroom then we have a kitchen a living area a bathroom and an entryway so I think that's six rooms total if you count the exterior and I have seven movies to choose from so let me go on and show you guys what our movie options are I am aware that it's probably the wimpiest Halloween movie list ever, but we have Sleepy Hollow, Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, A Quiet Place, Beetlejuice. I have seen Beetlejuice, but honestly, it's been so long, I can't remember it. Not even sure that I finished it, so that may be a problem. Edward Scissorhands and The Others. So I don't watch a lot of scary movies, as you guys can tell. These are more like happy, family-friendly Halloween movies, but... This is the options that we're working on. We're going to try to build a house like that. Now, I may have to look up a few of the movies as we go because it's been a while on a few of them. So I may have to look up kind of what the aesthetic is and what we're going for. But I think we're going to do the entryway first. So let's just go on and spin the wheel and see what we get for the entryway of the house. I'm going to save the exterior for last. But the entryway is going to be inspired by Beetlejuice. <laughs> wow, I kind of spoke that into existence, didn't I? So I know that Beetlejuice kind of has a black and white aesthetic, like the pants. I know that. But other than that, I'm going to have to look it up and see what I can find. I'm just going to search for Beetlejuice aesthetic and see what I can find. But so far, I'm just seeing the black and white pants. Okay, wait. I see one picture that has kind of a checkerboard floor. We could do that. I really don't want to uh, do this classic movie and injustice by messing up how this room turns out, but it just honestly has been so long since I saw it. And like I said, I'm not even totally sure that I finished the movie. I may have had to leave or something and I didn't even see the end of it. But here's a little bit of a checkerboard floor. I feel like that's got Beetlejuice vibes. I feel like that's good. And we can do something pretty similar for the wallpaper. I feel like this is giving Beetlejuice vibes. If you guys are big fans of the show, you can tell me how I did on this room. Probably it's not going to be very good. But we've got a black and white theme. Now I guess I should actually probably look up what this movie was even about. So I don't, I yeah, I just don't remember this at all. But we're going for, you know dead haunting kind of vibes right but i'm thinking accent table with a couple of urns if we have a black swatch yeah so we'll do a couple of those because the house is haunted and a bouquet of flowers like someone has sent their well wishes we could do one of the little spooky stuff lights i feel like i mean beetlejuice kind of has a weird aesthetic to it so i feel like that might would work right there and then for a rug, I'm feeling like we're probably going to have to go spooky stuff on this. And then maybe a little black rug to go with it. Then I'm thinking that we just are going to have to grab one of the little tombstones. Didn't we get a tombstone from spooky stuff? Oh yeah, we did. Here they are. Okay, we got a spider too. We could kind of throw this little spider up here. And I think that's our Beetlejuice entryway, guys. That's all that I really know to do. It's just about scaring they're trying to scare people off from their house. Wow, I'm so sorry if you guys are big Beetlejuice fans. I'm really sorry that I don't have a clue what I'm talking about right now. We could do these haunted portraits, I guess, too. And uh, I think that's all I've got for this room. I think I gotta leave it there. So the Beetlejuice entryway is done. I guess we can move on to the bathroom next. Let's just go on and get that out of the way. We have to take Beetlejuice off and then we're going to spin again for the bathroom. And the bathroom in this house is going to be inspired by Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh no, I'm a bit sad, honestly, because I really wanted the exterior to be Nightmare Before Christmas. The only good thing is that I actually don't have to look anything up for this room. I love the Nightmare Before Christmas. 
that's probably the only one of these selections that I feel truly confident with, which is why I really wanted it to be the exterior. But that's okay. So I'm going to go for a little bit of shabby floors. They had a lot of wooden floors, I feel like. I don't know so much about the wallpaper. It would be something playful and spooky, though, wouldn't it? It would be like, we have these spooky stuff options. We have some cobwebs, or we have some little ghosts. But I think it would be something fun like this, because the movie is spooky and fun. Maybe we should go with the little ghosts. Or, since I don't really like the ghost, we could just go with some more wood, like wooden wallpaper. What kind of toilet do we have that would match the Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh, this one. This one right here. This is from City Living. It looks very spooky. It's unlocked by reaching level 10 of the Critic Courier. Oh, I feel bad for saying that now, but... I mean, it does. It looks like that. Okay. I don't know how much I'm going to have that's going to match the aesthetic in here. I guess we could grab that spider again. We could kind of have him hanging over the, uh, the toilet. So I don't have a lot of spooky looking sinks. I think this vampire sink is probably the spookiest option that I've got. And then for the mirrors, you know what? The mirror is actually going to be not too bad because I can just pick out a mirror and then I'll just drape some cobwebs over it. I mean, there was nothing super fancy in that movie, is there? It's all kind of just casual stuff. Just Halloween town residents trying to live their best life. So maybe we just do uh, this get together mirror and then I'm going to grab some of those cobwebs. And then I'm going to use the tool mod and I'm going to push it down to where it's kind of hanging over the mirror. Okay, and that makes it spooky, I feel like. Oh, I forgot to give him toilet paper. Okay, shower time. I don't think the residents of Halloween Town, honestly, I don't know how much they're showering. What could be the spookiest shower? We could do the vampire shower, I guess. That's the spookiest thing I have. Okay, and then we need another rug. We can go with the skeleton rug again, or what else could we do? Oh, we could do the pumpkin because Jack's the pumpkin king, yes. Oh, wow, okay, here's our little... Nightmare Before Christmas inspired bathroom, you guys. It's really quick and easy. I'm kind of sad because that was the room that I was the most excited for. We might could put some more cobwebs down somewhere. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We got some more cobwebs. It's finished. There is our Nightmare Before Christmas bathroom. What should we do next? The living room? We have to take Nightmare Before Christmas off. And then the living room is going to be inspired by... The others! Wow, it's also been a ridiculously long time since I saw that movie. The one thing that I can tell you on the spot is that we have to cover up the windows. That's the one thing I remember. So we could use some of the vampire really thick curtains, really dark curtains. We have to make sure they're covered up completely. And yeah, that's pretty much what I remember from that movie. So one second, let me look up that aesthetic. I do kind of feel like I remember there being a scene where a lot of the furniture was covered up with like sheets or whatever you would cover furniture up with. I kind of feel like that was the thing. Wow, I don't know. It looks like maybe just wood floors and really elegant kind of wallpaper. I think we could do something pretty nice in here like this flooring. And then I'm thinking this wallpaper from Vampires. That gives me the other's vibe. That looks good. And I wish I had a mirror that was covered up. I don't know if there's any way that I could do that. Maybe I could. We could just grab this little base game mirror. I don't really know what other one would fit in. But we could grab that, kind of put it right here above the fireplace. And then maybe, hopefully, grab some curtains that would look like it was going over it. Have you guys ever seen The Others? I feel like it's an older movie, so I, I wasn't sure if I should go there with it. But I saw it on a bunch of the list I was looking at on Pinterest, and so I thought, well, maybe people do actually know what it is. Maybe I could go with it. But let me know in the comments if you have actually seen it. We could grab this cats and dogs curtain to kind of look like someone has covered up the mirror. It's not exactly the look that I'm coming for, but I'm okay with it. And it does look like the house has some decorations in a few of the pictures that I've seen. In my mind, it was kind of empty, like they were trying to sell the house or something. But it looks like it did have a few decorations, so I'm going to put just a few of them over here on the fireplace. 
but we definitely can still have some furniture. I think we should do like sheets draped over. So I think we're going to have to go with the spooky stuff furniture. I can't remember how much lighting they had. I feel like I need to go with candlelight for some reason. I watched the others the, the first time, I guess, that I watched it. I was really, really young and my friends wanted to watch it. And like I said, I don't really do scary movies, but I wanted to watch it because they wanted to watch it. And one of my friends actually told us what the plot was, which I'm not going to say. And just in case any of you guys actually want to go watch it. But she actually told us what the plot twist was. And um, I still didn't get it. Like the entire time that we watched that movie, I was like, wait a second. Like, looking back, the fact that they told me what happened and I still spent the whole movie not being sure of what was going to happen is kind of sad. But for the rug in here, we need something a little bit more elegant, right? We need something kind of like this, maybe. I don't know if white is the right color. we got to come up with something we can put right here. Can we put a piano? Am I just grasping at straws? Trying to believe there was piano in this movie. I don't care. Look, it fits perfectly. Okay, there's our living room inspired by The Others. The movie, The Others. If you guys have seen it, let me know. It's been ages since I saw it. But I'm curious how many people actually know what that is. Because it is a little bit of an older movie. It's Nicole Kidman movie. I'm pretty sure that's who is in it. Anyway, moving on. Now we're on to the kitchen. Let's go on and spin our wheel. And uh, let's see what our kitchen is going to be. And the kitchen is going to be inspired by a quiet place. Oh no, I didn't record that on the screen so you guys can see it. Do you guys trust me? Here, I'll show it to you now. Let's see. See, it's all in a quiet place. I don't want to lie to you guys and, and re-spin. So I'm sorry, I just forgot to record it. This actually has been one of the more recent movies of these that I've seen. And I feel kind of bad right now because I'm not sure how to build a kitchen inspired by a quiet place. I feel like they were in a cellar or a barn or something like that. They were kind of underground, weren't they? Let's just find some kitchen cabinets, though. I want to say we're going to go with Horse Ranch because it kind of was on a farm, I think. So I feel like we would have a farmhouse kind of vibe. I want to do the older refrigerator. Or should we do like this one from City Living that's kind of run down and beaten up? I don't even know if I should put a garbage can in here, honestly, because it would be so hard to take the garbage out in the A Quiet Place universe. Can you imagine anything jiggling in there as you're walking, trying to get it out of the house or wherever you're living? That would be a nightmare, but I am going to put it in here because, you know, Sims need a garbage can. What else are we going to put in here? I mean, if I had a mattress, I would put that in here. Maybe a sleeping bag. All these swatches are too fun though. They don't give into the world vibes. I mean, this is going to be a pretty rundown kitchen. This is not going to be impressive at all. This box of junk that we got with uh, City Living, that would look good, I think, with this aesthetic. Some of these cobwebs are honestly kind of hard to place. And I guess we would have a rug, wouldn't we? We could do the City Living poofy rug. Kind of soften your steps a little bit. All that leaves is this wall by the sink. I guess we could put a little bit of a mirror up in here, couldn't we? I mean, just to add a little bit more decoration. And then on the lighting, we probably would need some candlelight as well. This is supposed to be candles, isn't it? I actually don't think it is. Do I have any candles? Oh, we'll do the barnyard lamp for in here. You know what? I don't know about that get together thing. And I think that is the a quiet place kitchen wow it's so creepy going up to the bedroom this is the last room inside the house let's see what we get for this hold on let me actually make sure i record it this time okay here we go so we're gonna take a quiet place off we have three things left and the bedroom is going to be inspired by edward scissorhands so what I remember about Edward Scissorhands is the exterior of the house is being super colorful and fun. I don't really remember what the inside of the house looked like. Hold on, I need to add a railing to this. We'll just do black because this was the Beetlejuice. Oh, we have a black and white. We can do that one. That's good. Okay, and then up here, I mean, he was in kind of suburban area, right? Wow, let me look up a picture of him inside the house. Oh, wow. This one actually might be the easiest one so far because he did have a bedroom in the house. He was staying in a bedroom. What did the floor look like? I feel like it's carpet. It looks like white carpet to be in the picture. So we'll do that. And then I think the wallpaper is white also. 
Okay, yellow beds. I feel like this one from Horse Ranch is an option. We also have this one. We do have these from Seasons, which fits the vibe a little bit more because of have, having the canopy. We'll swap to this one from Seasons. And then the dresser was really nice, kind of like this. And there was a mirror up over it. And then there was postcards. So I'm just going to grab these postcards from the debug menu. I'm going to grab them with the tool mod. And I'm going to kind of bring them out to where they're in front of the mirror. And they look like they're hanging on the mirror. And then I'm just going to randomly rotate them around. There's the dresser with all its clutter. And then I got to figure out something to put right here in this corner. You know, I think that it would be one of those like knickknack things. I think they would have that. I know this is a bedroom, but I feel like there would be some knickknacks in this house. And there's this side of the bedroom, but then we still have this whole side that's empty. I don't feel like there was any kind of TV or anything in the bedroom. I mean, I don't know, there may have been, but I think I'm just gonna put some artwork up. Oh, and I don't know why, but I kind of like the thoughts of putting one of these in here because it kind of matches that perfect cookie cutter neighborhood and then also Edward could have like cut those out you know he could have fixed that up for them so I'm gonna put that in there that's pretty cute I'm trying to come up with something else to put there and I can't come up with anything oh we could do some music I feel like they would have a little bit of music maybe I think I'm going to grab one of these really really colorful paintings from city living is that where this is from I'm gonna do this one because it's got so much yellow in it and I think this room is done. I mean, I don't really like it, honestly, but I feel like it represents the bedroom that was in the movie and it does kind of fit that vibe, except that it doesn't fit Edward's vibe. It's kind of the opposite of Edward, but I feel like that was the movie vibe. So I don't know. I may have completely failed at that bedroom, but I think I'm done trying to salvage it. So let's go on into the exterior and see what we're going to get for that. Okay, so our two options for the exterior are going to be Sleepy Hollow or Hocus Pocus. I feel like either one's a pretty good option because we got pumpkins and gravestones and a spooky looking exterior, which is pretty good. So let's see which one we're going to get. And it's Hocus Pocus. You know what? I'm just going to wing it. It's been a while since I saw Hocus Pocus. So I'm not even going to worry about it at this point. We would have a spooky exterior, right? I feel like we could go with the spooky stuff. Should we go with just straight black? Oh, you know what? We could use some green as well because one of the witches wears green. I think it was green, orange, and purple. Is that right? I feel like that is. But basically, we're going for a witch's house theme, which works out really well because that's kind of how the exterior looked. I did not plan that. I started out building a haunted house kind of vibe. And it ended up being three stories tall and it had like 11 or 12 rooms or something like that. And I knew that I didn't know that many scary movies. So I had to get out of it and uh, bulldoze it. And I started building this one. But it does have a little bit of a witch's look with the kind of curved roofs and stuff like that. Okay, here is the finished landscaping around the house. Just really quick and easy. We got to get them a little bit of a pathway going to i feel like it would be cobblestone and oh also we need to put a little bit of pathways out here kind of in the back we'll do some dirt pathways we'll also do some cat stuff i think out here maybe on the back porch and then i feel like the little welcome mat would be the no cats allowed sign but i know that kind of goes against the fact that i just put that stuff down but i feel like that they wouldn't they wouldn't want cats hanging around would they because the cat was not on their side, I don't think, in the movie. You know what else we need? We need a broom. We technically need three brooms, but I don't know if I'm going to put that many down. We'll just put one right here. We could do one of the pumpkin... Why am I calling it a pumpkin? We could do one of the pumpkin carving stations. Oh, and what about the little candy bowl? Wow, I don't know if this is going to end up giving Hocus Pocus in the end. I really hope it is. Maybe they would have a swing in the yard. I feel like the witch that Sarah Jessica Parker played, I'm sorry, I don't know their names. I feel like she would like a swing. She was fun. And then we just gotta make all this work. We'll put the little book stand over here. And then other than placing some pumpkins around, I don't really know what else to do. We can have our little cauldron here. Oh, we can make it look like he's coming up out of the cauldron. And we'll put another broom back here also we actually could we could 
put three of them. But I feel like with the dustpan, it's too much. Okay, we just gotta put a little chimney down. And then I think also if I size this chimney down and kind of hide it in the cauldron, I think when the fire's going and the smoke is coming out of the chimney, I think it'll kind of look like it's coming out of the cauldron as well. So there we go. There is our Hocus Pocus themed exterior. It probably could be better, but... Here it is. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think about this house down below though and all the rooms as well. I would love to hear what you guys think. And also let me know what your favorite Halloween movie is. I'm interested. But that is it for today's video and today's challenge. Forgotten Hollow is also done if you guys have been keeping up with that series. But thanks so much for watching today and hanging out with me. I hope you all are doing really, really well. And I will talk to you guys soon with another video. But that is all for today. So bye guys.